My name is Senator Patty Labocan Benson, and I'm celebrating Duty Council Day. The historic and systemic injustices faced by Indigenous people exacerbate their mistrust in the courts. 30% of Indigenous people in Canadian prisons are Indigenous, yet Indigenous people make up only 5% of the Canadian population. Incarceration rates are 10 times higher for Indigenous people than non-Indigenous people in Canada. And Indigenous men make up 28% of the male incarceration population in Canada, and Indigenous women make up 42% of the incarcerated female population. The legacy of historic trauma for Indigenous people is connected to this overrepresentation. Pervasive feelings of hopelessness, helplessness, and powerlessness in the justice system sometimes result in Indigenous defendants pleading guilty for crimes they didn't commit. This is just one of the factors that perpetuates overrepresentation of Indigenous people in custody. Duty counsel are protectors. They can step in and make sure procedures are followed that rights are respected, and that everyone is given equal treatment. Duty counsel go out of their way to offer guidance. They know the agencies that can help clients with non-legal issues like housing, addictions, and employment, and direct them to these groups. In Indigenous courts especially, duty counsel are able to follow an individual's case over time and establish trust. Another barrier to justice is physical access. People who live in remote communities with no access to transportation to attend court. One way around this is to make duty counsel available virtually. A Legal Aid Alberta program called Early Appearance Advice gives people charged with a crime the chance to phone legal aid up to 14 days before their court appearance to get advice on what to expect and what their options are. This service is free and is one step in ensuring access to justice. We're grateful today and every day for the protection Canada's duty counsel lawyers provide. Thank you.